Welcome to another SQL introduction video. Today's video is going to be covering inserting data or values into a table. So this is an ex uh, times where you have a table and you need to insert a couple of rows. Most oftentimes this is going to be when you have like a dimension table or a reference table um, that is not updated often. So maybe maybe a company adds a particular product and they need to update their data. All right. Um, so we we have a kind of a data model in here that would reflect of a subscription company and that they, they send out boxes of goods, whether it's dog treats or uh, let's say Blue Apron or, or something like that. Um, so we have a table, uh, our subscriber details, and I uh, just want to kind of walk you through the, the structure of the statement. So you're going to start out with uh, your insert into, you'll have your, your database and your table. Uh, so for, in this example, it's prod subscriber de details. Um, you're gonna start out with the parentheses. Uh, so you'll have your, your open and close. Uh, so like I have here, you're gonna choose what columns um, the data is gonna be inserted into. So in there will be some examples or cases in which you don't want to update all the attributes or columns in a table. So let's get started. All right, so I've got my I got my columns here. I've chosen what I want to update of a particular customer or subscriber, and then the values. So for each value pair or each row, um, you're going to have your open and close parentheses, and then you're going to have the the data. So you, obviously you want to make sure the the number of attributes that are in each value record uh, equal to the same amount that are up here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, you also need to make sure that the length of the column um, does not get, get exceeded or it will throw an error. So for example, if I move this over here, um, this is my customer record status. And I believe the max length of or character length of that is five and it is trying to pass in this 10 character string. So if I run this, it's gonna, it's gonna drop a, uh, an error message, string or binary data would be truncated. Because basically what it's saying is if you have a 10 character string trying to go into a five character maxed out column, uh, it would have to truncate that, so it stops the statement. All right, so if I go ahead and revert back to what I had, I'm gonna hit F5. All right, and you know it runs really quick. I've inserted my data. Now let's go take a look. So let's go ahead and uh, execute. So we're going to see down here uh, we have these two records here for for customer seven, which is uh, the customer um, that I wanted to update. So it's very simple. If you have any questions down below, let me know. Um, I'm going to start walking through a little bit more advanced stuff in the coming weeks. But I just wanted to cover some of the the simpler insert statements that you might find yourself coming across. All right, well, thanks for watching the video. Like I said, if you have any comments or questions, put them down below and enjoy your day.